welcome back everybody here's game dev and coding today as a request from you guys i'm going to show you how to make procedural spawn system part 2 with part 2 i mean an updated video where i show a more complex system than the first original video so what i'm going to do in this video is almost restructure the entire system in a way to set the minimum distance between trees I had to code a grid which will avoid the problem of overlapping then from this grid I would randomize the position but still according to grid The second thing I'm going to show you is to attach instances on a specific surface. So let's see how can we do this. So first of all, I'm going to set everything for the tutorial. If you didn't watch the first tutorial, I suggest you to go to watch it. I will link it in the description so you will be more aware of what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you want to watch this video first, it's completely fine because I'm going to code everything from scratch. First step, create an actor, which in this case I called Spawn Object Script BP version 2. Open it, add a new component which is an instance static mesh, rename it with instance tree, and set its mesh with the tree. Open construction script, get a sequence. Get a switch on integer. Remove the default pin and make two pin, zero and one. Then grab instance tree and set the static mesh. We need to promote a variable which is called mesh zero one. Then duplicate it. And then for the second one, promote another variable and call it mesh02. Then link everything. Now set for mesh01 rectangle tree. And for mesh02 set the triangle tree. Compile. Then promote a variable and call it tree variation. Make sure that mesh01 is editable, same for tree variation, and again the same with mesh02. So all tree must be editable. Get a for loop. Go to last index and promote a variable called amount editable compile and set its value to 1 then subtract 1 and then link in this way now get index and multiply it promote a variable which is called distance make it editable compile and set the distance as 500 then get random float in range promote a variable they call it distance range random and again make it editable then multiply it by minus 1 connect everything in this way so 
select everything and copy. Then get a line trace for objects. From start, make a vector. Get instance tree and get its world location. Split the pin and then do this subtraction. Link the output of the subtraction with Y. Then duplicate it. Actually, you need to multiply the output of the subtraction by minus 1 and then link it with Y. Then subtract in this way the output of the previous operation. Actually, you have to link the X with the subtraction just in this way. So we have X on the top, Y on the bottom. Now set the Z to 10,000. Then add, link it with end, get actor up vector, And multiply it by minus 1 and then multiply the output by 15,000 go to objects type and promote a variable and call it attach to objects make it editable and set the first element of the array as a world static then draw the bank for duration for 0.5 seconds, get a branch, bring it result. If the branch is true, get another branch, promote a variable, make it editable, and call it allow random scale. Then get instance tree, add instance in world space. Then go back, copy this, and paste it here. Remove the variable, promote a new one, and call it rotation range random. Make it editable and set it to 45 degrees. Copy, paste, promote another variable, call it scale, make it editable, and set its value to 1. From max, get add float, promote another variable, and call it this time scale range random make it editable now from impact point get make transform on rotation split the pin connect everything in this way Copy paste, copy and paste again, again copy paste,
compiled, save. Now make sure that all these variables are editable. Also check their values. So tree variation editable as value 0. Amount editable as value 1. Distance editable value as 500. Distance range random editable with 0 as value. Attach to objects editable with world static. Allow random scale editable true. Rotation range random editable as value 45. Scale editable as value 1. And then last but not least, scale range random editable as value 0. Now let's try it and see what can we do with this new system. So as we see, this is a grid. The random rotation is 45 degrees. Now I'm gonna set it to 0. There you go. Now back to 45. And here we can increase or decrease the scale. Or we can randomize the scale. Now, if you want to make this look like a bit random, increase distance range random. And then we can decide on what we spawn the trees. Then we can increase the amount of trees. We can play with the distance. So this is the system version 2 guys. Much more complex, check again the code and make sure you did everything right just like I did. In case you have problems, comment below or download the code completely available for free in the description. Just click download and you get it. Now, some of you may need to spawn a different layout every time they click play. So all you need to do is to import all the code from the constructor script to the event graph, just in this way. Connect it with event begin play, compile. So as you see, very different layout every time I click play. So let's put everything back as before into construction script. And remember that you can also change the tree variation. And we can also change the trees just in this way. You have a very flexible use with this system. I really recommend it especially for survival games or just forest in Unreal Engine 4 or 5. And uh, here is it, guys. It's a very nice system.
So guys, this is the end of this video. If you found the system and this video helpful for you and your project, remember to click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye guys.